So for this guy, I just have the pinkies mapped oh. to the wings here. So you get that full flapping action. For this one, I just don't have the thumb mapped, so I have four fingers mapped here so I can not use the thumb at all. Okay, so right now I have the fingers mapped so that if I bend the thumbs, the wings go back like that, like he's almost picking up speed. Or uh, here, you can see the flap on the wing. So that's kind of controlling how the wind goes through the wing. Just my pointer finger, I have it mapped to that. <laughs> you can see it going through them. And then here you can also control the fingers. I have those mapped here. Oh, I love the feeling of this one. Yeah. It feels so claw-like. Can I drag from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. It'll recognize your hands. <laughs> so satisfying. Ah, uh, yeah. oh, that's so cool. Oh, it also depends on how I do this. Oh, super cool! Because yeah. I could be playing with the air just by doing this stuff. Like. <laughs> super cool! I love it! Oh, Good job. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> so, we've seen that Handcraft Pro is not just for hands and that you can use it actually for wings, for tentacles, for claws, for many different types of things. And as a quick tutorial on how I'm doing this, it's great to just remember this mapping of the hands where you start on the left hand, your first selection is the first joint on the thumb, the second is the second joint, and the third is the last joint on the thumb. And then you follow that around the hand, like this mapping here. And so once I'm in the scene, if I'm starting my selection out and I'm mapping it, I can know that this is the first joint of the thumb that's represented, the second, and then the third. And so I would just do that, and you can see here, I've mapped it only to the right hand. Now the tool still takes in all 30 data points for the hand. So what you need to do is just create 15 other locators. So you would just make sure that you're selecting 15 locators here first. Once you've done this, it's super easy. You just save a template, and you go in here, and it automatically selects your template for later use. So you only need to make your selections once. The last thing to note is that these curves all need to have the same rotation value if you want them to bend the same way. So you see that these all have rotation Z negative for their curl value. And that's how you can use Handcraft Pro for any part of your rig.